What's up ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Brandon. Today we have a juicy Call of Duty video for you today. So I want to cover about the max double XP weekend that we're having this weekend from the 18th through the 22nd. also want to talk to you guys about the free bundle that Call of Duty is giving us. And I also want to talk to you guys about the ranked play. In case you guys missed that, ranked play for Vanguard has been delayed. I made a video about it last night. I'll leave a link down in the description below so you guys can check that out. also want to talk to you guys about the CDL packs and the camo that they have added to the game. Along with the Vargo 52 that you can unlock in Cold War. But the catch is you have to play Modern Warfare to unlock it. I'll, I'll go over that later on in the video and also want to go over the vanguard patch notes that they released today so without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's get in the video so today call of duty announced on their twitter that we are going to have a max double xp weekend so from february 18th at 10 a.m pacific to february 26th at 10 a.m pacific vanguard and warzone will kick off the weekend with max double xp Throughout the max double XP event, all players can enjoy double earn rates for regular XP, weapon XP, operator XP, battle pass XP, and clan XP. And please note, clan XP is exclusive only to Vanguard. So in addition to this max XP, a free bundle and 10 free tier skips are going to be available to players. So all you have to do is play either Vanguard or Warzone, and the players can pick up a brand new Forbidden Sacrifice bundle before it actually goes into the store. This is a nine item bundle, which includes a legendary operator skin, two legendary weapon blueprints, one reliable SMG kitted for tactical close range engagements, and a fast firing assault rifle equipped with attachments that help keep you off the radar, and even a battle pass tier skip completely free so that is total 10 tier skips so this bundle has been totaled over a 20 dollar value so to get these limited time bundle all you have to do is simply log into vanguard or warzone between 10 a.m pacific february 18th and 10 a.m pacific february 22nd if you do not receive this free bundle or the tier skip all you got to do is contact activision support best ways to get them up on their twitter to active support over on twitter is the easiest way to get a hold of them or go through the call of duty blog and you'll find a link down there to find out so whether it's leveling up new weapons or unlocking all the new content in season two battle pass or even playing with friends over the weekend this event is Call of Duty's way of saying thank you for playing the new season of Vanguard and Warzone. And it's also like a thank you for being patient with them because season two was delayed so they could concentrate on working on fixes. Now, let's get into the other part of this video. So let's go over ranked play. Last night, Treyarch tweeted out that ranked play has been delayed due to unforeseen circumstances and they found stat breaking errors in the game which prevented them from rolling out this update today which was supposed to come out at noon but obviously it hasn't come out yet they don't exactly have a release date heck by the time i upload this video they could have the vanguard rank play out but who knows they could roll it out late tonight or even i would imagine at least maximum four days from now that it will be live so we'll see it could be a day two days three days maybe four days hopefully they can fix this game breaking glitch and get it out it's a good thing that they saved it say if they rolled out the vanguard ranked play and then they found this stat breaking glitch and they had to roll back the game that would be more of a headache than actually not rolling out uh, ranked mode instead of actually bringing it out then have to stop and bring it back out later on so this is a good thing for treyarch Poor Treyarch, they've had to figure out this ranked play for Vanguard. They've had to figure out Zombies, all because Sledgehammer Games couldn't finish their game in a timely manner. So Treyarch is truly the GOAT. Please add me, I promise you. All right, other things that came out today is the CDL packs and the uh, camo, which they added in the game as well. So this camo has been seen in the game. It's quite a few different camos for the uh, Call of Duty League. They look pretty good. Uh... If you guys missed it, over the weekend, CDO actually played with these camos and their skins. They look pretty dope. Um, I might even buy my favorite team. We'll see, guys. Just stand by for a video later on on the channel for that. But they have the new camos out. They have the new packs that are coming out soon. 
Um, so yeah, they look pretty good. So definitely stay tuned to that if you guys are big CDL League fans. Also, guys, late last night, you've probably seen this all over Twitter and Facebook and whatnot, and maybe even YouTube. The Vargo 52 can be unlocked in Cold War. But the caveat to that is you actually got to play Modern Warfare 2019 to actually unlock it. Now, the way to unlock the Vargo 52 is you got to play 15 different matches and get at least 1,000 damage per match with an assault rifle. So you can actually do this challenge and actually quit the match once you uh, think you got the 1,000 damage. You can actually quit it. That way it doesn't take you as long as normal uh, to unlock it so you don't have to play the whole match. But once you do that, you should get a prompt up on the screen saying that you unlocked the Vargo 52. And then you can even play with it in uh, Cold War. Um, that's currently the only game you can play it in. You can't play it in Warzone or Modern Warfare or even Var uh, Vanguard right now. You can only play with it in Cold War, but that's that's okay. Maybe later on this weekend, we might get a surprise because Treyarch also tweeted out there is many more surprises to come this weekend. So hopefully they release the unreleased map WMD in Cold War. Maybe they'll release the Scythe and maybe they'll officially release the Vargo 52 because they haven't announced anything. And a lot of people think this is a secret unlock and shouldn't be available to all players now, but we shall see for the weekend. All right, guys, let's get into the other part of the news. Last but not least, the Vanguard patch notes. So in the patch notes today, they released a uh, bug or fixed a bug that resulted in a spontaneous crash when scrolling through your friends list. For weapons, this Sten MK5 Astoria weapon blueprint spawns as an STG44 on public multiplayer matches. For bundles, Attack on Titan Levi Edition model, the Sten Astoria weapon blueprint will no longer spawn in as the STG in public multiplayer matches. Also for the Paradise Lost bundle, Halima's skin firebrand is now consistent with the preview. In the Final Flight bundle, the Hawk Blueprint will no longer use iron sights instead of the scope when aiming down sights. In the Battle Pass and Tier 20 reward, Beatrice Parisian skin. An issue with the Breaches uh, Parisian skin has been fixed. All Tier 20 players have been granted this item retroactively. And for the Zombies updates for the Wonder Weapons, they address an issue where the Decimator Shield should not respawn in the Corrupted Lands arena, even if the player has died. So, I also forgot, guys, Call of Duty Vanguard and Warzone got a new Doritos Call of Duty calling card. There's a code at the bottom right there. Just type in that code at callofduty.com slash redeem, and you can actually get that calling card in the game. So, it's pretty awesome, guys. So, yeah, today we covered CDL camos, we covered a rank play delay, we uh, covered a free bundle and tier skips that is coming to Call of Duty this weekend. We also discussed the Vargo 52 secret weapon, and along with the Vanguard patch today. So, alright guys, that's all I have for you today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please smash the like button, please subscribe if you're new to the channel, hit the notification button, and until next time, squids, I'll see you later.